very tired. I want to sleep. <laughs> okay. We will not interrupt that. <laughs> so, good night. Good night. <laughs> So now we are uh, with Yolanta driving from uh, Freiburg to Zurich and Lionel is filming. Martha is very busy with her phone <laughs> and uh, we're going to Zurich. Martha played last night the Liszt Concerto, she's doing it again tonight in Zurich. Not at the Don Halle. And the, which is the name? I don't know, Mag, I think. Mag Hall. Ma ah, gee, it's the first time I don't know this place. What do you say it's called? I don't know. Mag. I think. Mag Hall. Uh, uh, uh. With double A. And um, so today is April 15th, 2018. So a nice memory for Mark travel between Freiburg and Zurich. And of course, this is part of a Cremerata Baltica tour with Martha. And, uh, and Yolanta is helping us, assisting us with everything. Plus driving, so very generous of her. <laughs> uh, so we have, uh, we have tonight we leave concert at 7.30. 7.30? 7.30 tonight. That means I'm playing at 9. You're playing at 9. Martha's playing the second half. And it's very important to state that this is a particular arrangement that Martha likes very much about just doing the least concerto for strings and piano, but with a triangle. That's right. So it's it's an arrangement for strings and piano and triangle. And triangle. Can't do without the triangle. Right. right. Oh no, that would be horrible. terrible. <laughs> so it's string plus triangle. And right. Martha likes that particular arrangement. Yeah. Because she thinks it works very well. And we've noticed that last night. <laughs> Indeed. No, the night before it was you thought. I was afraid in Budapest that they wouldn't like it. It's a French guy that did it. A French guy? Yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah, you mentioned that because it was doing in Hungary, we were uh, thinking that probably the, the, you know, the Hungarians would not agree. They were because fascinated. Their music. Yes. Their and they were fascinated. Because they own it. Yes. Right? Yeah. They, they were fascinated, you know, by it. and. And I thought it was an extraordinary version because uh, it was very, very powerful that particular night in Budapest with the listing energy. And uh, but the pianist has to do extra work for this version. No, no, no? the same. I mean, you have to put in extra effort to. Uh, I don't know. To uh, work with without a conductor. No, that's very easy with them. Yeah? yeah. Do you have to play harder than usual? No. No. Probably yeah. the opposite, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I try to play well, that's all. And they also. <laughs> Everyone has to work together. Yeah. Yeah. So and fine. I think we like it. I think they like it too. Yes. Well, you do get along very well and play together many times. Yeah. Did you do Shostakovich with him too? Pardon? Shostakovich, you play with him? Yes, many times. Right. But that, of course, is not an arrangement. I know, but it's a hard piece to, to put together. Yeah. So we'll see. Tonight. Tonight. Thank you, Lionel, for no, my pleasure. joining us so, all the way from Singapore. That's but right. that was not the best. It was probably the least. What is it? 
Oh, yes. You felt the felt a particular energy in Budapest. Yeah. But um, you were not in Nuremberg, so you... Uh, no. It's also strange. But I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm, for me, it's finished already. I don't think anymore right. about this. Is it the past? Yeah. And also tonight is not really... And I'm thinking about something else now. Because repeating this English is not, you know, it's... Yeah. yeah. It's fourth time. Yeah. Tonight. So the next time all three of us will be together after tonight, we'll be in Singapore. Yes. Nice. And the other side of the world. The orchestral concert has a piece that is very dear to her. A composer that is very dear to her. Yes. Yes. You said something once about your relationship with Prokofiev. I think he likes me. <laughs> Prokofiev likes you, you say? Yeah. And you like him too, right? Yeah, of course. Because I think yeah. you, I remember you said that um, so. he never fails you. Until now, no, but we never know. <laughs> <laughs> How so? Temperament wise, you feel for him, right? Prokofiev. There's the... Well, that he's a Taurus. Yes. Yeah. The Inferno. <laughs> but, um... Yeah. I think uh, there's something about the humor mm -hmm. that we, we have discussed with Martha that she enjoys very much. Prokofiev's music is... It's a very dry kind of... Uh, yeah, and it's always... A humoristic side of, you know, I think it's extraordinary that, you know, he takes after Rachmaninoff like a big thing theme in the last movement. Then when the piano comes in, like the Rachmaninoff concerto, you think the piano is going to respond with the same way of lyricism. <laughs> the piano goes pum pum pum. It's like making fun of, oh. I thought I was going to do the same, you know. Yeah. And it's, a, it's totally mocking the, the lyricism of the strings. You know he composed the last movement in Japan. I was just going to say that the opening, the pizzicato for the third movement, Yeah. sounds like a Japanese melody. Yeah, it is. So it is a Japanese melody. Dum bum ba da dum ba da dum bum bum ba da 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 da